Nat 20. Welcome back to A Deal with Demons, where in our previous episode, Farron had some nightmarish visions, and then went through a nightmarish encounter, I'll say, for lack of a better word that I can't think of right now. <laughs> it's all good, buddy. And then he ended up on a mountain and was trying to find his way down the mountain and found a cave that he's investigating right now. He just, uh, there was a landslide in the cave and uh, Farron is just trying to get through the rubble to the other side. While that was happening, the other members of our crew ended up finding, uh, fighting the mind player that, is, that they found in the lair underneath an island. They killed him and were investigating his lair to find some gold, anything magical or anything like that, and have just taken a long rest since they really needed it. So I'll start off with everyone in the mind player's uh, lair. Um, we I wake. Was, we awaken. No, I'm <laughs> on a small bed. <laughs> um, after my four hours of rest, I'm going to get attuned to my dagger. By the way, okay. I meant to mention that. How long is a long rest? Uh, depends on what you're like. For Tony, a long rest would be four hours because he's an elf. Yeah, I, mean, for for me, I think for you, it would be probably six to eight hours. Okay. Just wondering. Yep. Oh, really? uh, so you are able to get attuned with your dagger in that time and. By the time everyone else is awake, they just see you throwing your dagger at one wall and just van- vanishing and like going to where the dagger is. Awesome. I awaken in a- Thank you, Tony. I awaken cuddling <laughs> Ryan, I guess. I don't know if Lazarus uh, was yeah, in Yeah, sorry. Um, no. a little spoon. I was hardcore sleep cuddling both of them, <laughs> so I'm going to need Tony to make a strength check. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude. Don't let this happen. Dude. <laughs> Gage. <laughs> Please. You have a bandage, though, because you're awake and he's asleep. Oh, okay. Oh, so yeah. that's a seven. Uh, that's an 18. And then that's... Uh, My contestant. 14. Oh, uh, what would your passive strength be? Yeah, he's 10 passive. plus your strength. 10 plus my strength yep. is 11. You only have a plus one for strength? Yeah. Oh, oh you're a pussy dwarf. Yeah, you're, you're able to get out. Oh, yeah, awesome. No. So now I'm domain. My, I and uh, as wisdom, we like so walk away, useful. you feel the hand trying to like grab you. <laughs> I scooch his butt. Hey, yeah, <laughs> Teddy Bear. And then you notice that Blaze's monster hand is kind of salivating a little bit. It's, it, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm, <laughs> a <driller. laughs> I'm a drooler. Sorry. No, I, I, I want to be normal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a pollute. <laughs> <laughs> That's Yo, me. I forgot even what normal blaze sounds like. <laughs> so <Hey>. did I. <laughs> <laughs> like it's been that long. Yeah. I'm gonna have to look it up soon. Uh, I think it was like a hey everybody. No. Yeah, no, no yeah, that was uh-huh. it. This is it. This is Blaze's voice. Kind of, yeah. Uh, Listen, yeah. the point is I sound like this for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like I just did like 30 packs of smoke. Can you get changed back or can you just like can you just sound <laughs> keep the voice? Yeah. I hope the chords have permanently changed. Yeah. yeah. No. We're fighting Wish, and now we're getting the fuck back to normal. <laughs> uh, so, is there anything you guys want to do while you're in the Slayer? I'm just going to uh, nap like a boss. Everything I wanted to do, I, I got I'm not getting up until we have to leave. <laughs> yeah, they're about the same, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm fucking exhausted. Got the shit kicked in by that line player. Alright, um. Can I try, uh, bow fishing from the, from the doorway? Sure. <laughs> What? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a fishing rod? No, bull fishing. So I, I tie a piece of rope to my arrow and I just fucking. There's a time and place to use it, but now there's not the time. I, okay. Yeah. So I'm just standing there. Awakens the doorway, a water wait, demon. I fish to, uh, swim by. Uh, so roll a survival check. That's a seventeen. Well, plus yeah, so you wow. see quite a few uh, small fish swimming by, and then at one point you see a large catfish. It's just uh, a catfish or a river fish, right? Not lake fish. I think they're also bottom feeders. Yeah, so yeah, probably the biggest yeah. fish. There's always a bigger fish. <laughs> <laughs> this conversation is done. So uh, you do see a there. large fish just slowly swimming past and you're like this is the perfect moment you draw your bow shoot it hits some straight in the center nice and you're able to like reel them in 
Real big fish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. You heard. Yes, my drums. <laughs> oh my god. Blaze goes into cardiac arrest. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any way I can start a fire in this place? Ooh, no. I can. I can do it so fast. No, you're asleep. You already said you're yes. napping. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, like you could use like the bedding Ruined or some chances. of the cloths and stuff like that to use so, as wood. I'm gonna start taking books off the off the shelf and like ripping them apart, using them as okay. <laughs> and kind of make myself a little cooking fire to make this okay. fish. Uh, so you do that, and then. Uh, the cavern starts to fill up with smoke. Like there's no there's <laughs> vent. There's no actual vent that gets out of it. <laughs> well, I, I guess there's like the small opening here, but there it's like not high enough for it to actually go out that way. Right. So it just fills up and up and up until like it's up to like the height of the opening there. Right, what did I you do? I was because I'm, I'm like crouching right next yeah. to the fire. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're going to wake up and you start breathing in fumes. I'm so used to smelling smoke. This is, I'm a blast. This is like a fair. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> oh, I got one in! <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> it's burning! My throat's already bad enough! <laughs> Are you still lying on the bed with me? Yeah. Yeah, I... <laughs> I get disturbed by the noise and roll over and Ooh. smother you with my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't breathe like that. I think you have two mouths, though. I also have real life hiccups. <laughs> They're gone. Um. Help! <laughs> it's killing me! Oh, they're, got, they're back. Uh, I'd say the last year is maybe we should put out the fire. <laughs> Fish isn't done yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever. You, you want to eat raw fish? I sure don't. I'm not a fan of sushi. <laughs> Somebody grill up those tentacles. <laughs> no, we should them in the water. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. We could cook some brain. Missed opportunity. We could cook some brain. Let's not. <laughs> um... Yo, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I'm at a loss. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna walk over to Ryan and Blaze and say, "Hey, maybe we should. Uh, maybe we should get up soon and leave. Especially since this lair is filling up with smoke." I'm still asleep. <laughs> 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 so I'm making a racket over there. I'm hung over. <laughs> um, what is what is the Z man up to? Oh, uh, Z- <laughs> after like the smoke hey. starts to get too bad, he just says, "I'll I'll be up above." There's too much smoke, and he just like dives through and just starts lounging on the island. <laughs> Yo, you'd think as a bar you'd be used to hot boxing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a poor tear joke. Um, yo, I don't know what to do. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just gonna chill. Okay, <laughs> uh, I'll go back to Farron now. So you squeeze through this hole that that he cleared to make a tunnel through this rubble, and you look on the other side, and you're able to see a few things. So first you see that the other side of the wall is uh, the rest of the painting, where like wall painting is clear. You also see two other passageways past. Okay, I'm going to expect that painting first. Okay. Uh, so the side of the painting, you see a bunch of monsters and like demons and devils, all with weapons and like magic and stuff like that, and they seem to be charging towards the goddess-like woman that he saw before. And the goddess-like woman was facing that way. Bro, am I going to where that fucking angel fight was? <laughs> Is that where I'm heading? <laughs> um, and this seems like an extremely old uh, painting. Could I have a prediction? Can I figure out maybe how old it could be, roughly? Yeah, uh, roll a... History? History check, I guess. Yeah. History or investigation? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not very historically accurate. Uh, that's a one. 
Uh, you think? A natural one. It's at least, at least ten years old. <laughs> no, you're not wrong. Everybody plays. <laughs> I'm just like straighten my finger on the paint. <clears throat> that dust, you know, it's about ten years old. All right. I can discern that this is one day old. <laughs> and you, you believe that this avalanche happened probably, or roll a survival check to see how long you think, how long ago this avalanche happened. Or landslide. That's cocked. I would roll it again. Okay. Oh, that's also called roll on the flat surface. Ah, uh, that's uh, natural seventeen, my man. Seventeen, yeah. It's not uh, natural seventeen. It's a natural fifteen plus seventeen. It's an unnatural seventeen. Natural seventeen. Blaze, how old is Blaze? I mean, how old is Blaze? How old is Blaze? Yeah. Uh, I think I made him thirty-five. Yes, 35. can't quite remember. You believe that years. this happened probably around ten to fifteen years ago? Okay. And <laughs> oh god damn it. Uh yeah, so that's the only things you notice about this painting, just that it seems quite old and that it seems like a battle between this one goddess like lady and a bunch of demons and devils. Okay, I'm gonna move to the passageways now. Okay. Um how do each passageway look? How's the left one look? Uh, you notice that both the passageways go go about 50 feet in and then they seem to come into like a bigger chamber each. Okay. And they seem to be made, seem to have been excavated the same way and they look similar. Can I? I want to investigate. I'll investigate the, the one on the left first. Okay. And I want to investigate to see if there's like footprints, dust trails, markings, anything on the walls or the floor. Yeah. So as you investigate this, it's uh, there's so lots of dust and dirt all over the floor, and you don't see any footprints. You assume that no one's been in here for at least ten to fifteen years. Okay. Or actually, probably longer than that. All right. I'll look at the other passageway. Uh, same thing. Yeah. Shit, this is not... Uh, I'm not getting a good idea of which one to go down. Okay, uh, we'll do the... We'll do the old oopsie-doopsie, and we'll go down the left one. Okay. <laughs> uh, as you come into this chamber, you see that it's kind of like a sanctum, and you see nine statues all around the outside of the room, mm-hmm. and then a statue of the woman that was the of the painting in the very center. And there's, like, a dried-out fountain surrounding her. Dried-out fountain surrounding her. I will go around the edges and inspect the statues first. Okay, uh, which direction are you going around? I will go the left. Left first? Okay. Uh, left way. <clears throat> so you notice this is a male statue, and it has one hand out like this. You notice all the statues have one hand out. Okay. And uh, roll an investigation check. Oh, that's a nine. Nine. Uh, so what is that? I, I just had something in my head that just flew away. Uh, yeah. So as you investigate this first statue, it doesn't seem like any. It doesn't look like anyone or any like significant fi- uh, figure you've ever seen before. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> You do notice that this one has a hammer in the in his left hand, just holding it downwards, and it seems like a very intricate one. Hmm. Is this hammer real, or is it part of the statue? No, just a part of the statue. Okay. And it's it's a male statue. Okay. How do the rest of the statues around look? Uh, they all seem to be made by the same person, okay. and they all seem to be significant people, but you've never seen or heard of any of them before. Interesting. They all, they all have one hand out and have <clears throat> a different weapon or something significant about them like that. I'm gonna... And uh, have... you, do, you do notice a symbol on a few of them. The first one you notice a symbol that had to do with like the earth. Then another that had to do with waves or water. And then one that was like a mountain or the snowy cap. And you're not able to determine exactly what the rest are. Just from your investigation check. 
These are symbols. Yeah. On the statues. Yeah. I'm going to go along with the, with the mountain. Okay. Uh, and it has a hand out, right? Yeah. And this one is a female statue. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. I'm going to take out a gold ring I have in my backpack. I'm just going to put it on the hand. Okay. Uh, nothing happens. Okay. I'm going to put it on my finger now. I want to look beautiful. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'll place my hand on it. Again, nothing happens. Okay. Uh, I will move to the center then, the fountain. Oh okay. uh, yeah. So this statue seems like seems to be more a more significant statue, and you do see that she does have the weapons I explained before in the previous episode. So she has a staff with devil horns on it, mm-hmm. and uh, a bow and arrow. Bow and arrow on her back, like a significant cape, yeah. and. Uh, you notice a trident as well on her back. Okay. Um, I'll inspect the, this. Inspect the fountain. See, see how if there's any liquid in here or. or... The, uh, it's completely devoid of any moisture at all. No moisture, all right? Um. I will pour a little bit of water from my uh, water skin in there. Okay. Uh, you pour it in, and you only pour it a little bit, but it seems like more, and then more and more shows up, and more and more shows up, and the okay. fountain uh, fills up to its top. And you notice jets of water start to come from the all of the statue's outstretched hands, and they like spring into the water, never overflowing, never dropping a drop or anything like that. Oh, that's cool. And a glow of light... Different colors, each one light above the statues. Seemingly from nowhere. These lights, what do they look like? Uh, it's just like one that shines down on the statue. Each one is a, a different color. What are the colors? So, uh, going from left to right, it would be like a uh, kind of... Let's let's put it this way. Is there any that you would stand out to me? Or that I would have... A particular interest in uh hmm. <clears throat> even multiple yes so there's one that's almost like a black light black light yeah and then one that's like the brightest light you've ever seen i will i will head to the the, the brightest light that i've ever seen okay <laughs> nice uh you see that this is a female statue as well Okay. And uh, I don't have that info right now. Uh, yeah. So, what are you trying to discern? Or uh, I'm gonna t- first. I'm gonna take my water skin and see if I can't fill it up with the stream that's being put. You are able to. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Good. I have water again. Um. So uh, the hand's still out. Has anything changed about the statue other than the water? Uh. No. No. And there's the light on it. Um. Tough one. This is a tough one. I will. I'll knock on the statue. Okay, nothing happens. Uh, so, are you just trying to see if there are any any changes overall, or just on the statue? Well, if there's no changes on this statue, then overall. Okay. I just uh, roll just around. roll a perception check. Okay. Or investigation, either one. The investigation. Oh, oh no, not again. Yeah, that's definitely a one. Okay. Mm. You you don't notice anything different. Cool! Fact, your brain actually implodes. This is good. <laughs> and on that moment, I'll go to everyone else again. Sweet. <clears throat> Great. So you guys wow. are still in the Smile Player's nice layer. Am I still suffocating? Yeah. <laughs> Am I gonna die, you guys? Yo, Yo. that was a good one. Thanks, man. That was good. Thanks. I didn't hear what he said. Mind Flayer? Anyway. Um, <laughs> is somebody gonna wake me up? Or? You're suffocating! <laughs> Yo, Aren't you I'm a awake? heavy fucking sleeper. We should have woke you up before we go, though. I, I, I will wake you up. Out. I will okay. use my rudder, rudderkin mouth hand to bite you. Where? On the Where face. Armor. My face is face down in the pillows. I'll bite your ear. I just a little, Do I have a helmet? No. Okay. Just, sure. a, just a little nibble. Roll the hit. Um, 
I hit! <laughs> it's a natural 19. Oh, that was a 1. No. <laughs> I don't wake up. Wait, do I wake up? I don't wake up. <laughs> I have sick time. So is anyone ever going to wake up, Ryan? <laughs> I tried to, I just sleeper. bit his ear. I'm, I'm a sorry. heavy sleeper. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Just I'm wake gonna... up. Are you going to try to, like, get out of his grasp? Yes. Okay. Uh, just roll a strength check with advantage since he's asleep and you're not. We're just gonna be standing next to the door watching this whole happen. <laughs> <in my face. laughs> What's your rudder constraint? Really shitty. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm only a. I think I'm a minus actually. What's the rudder constraint? Where is uh, that? No. That's in Morden kinds. Uh, I can just Google it. Well, with your roll, you're able to get out. Okay, yeah, because I rolled an 18. I think it's a minus something, though. I can't remember. I thought I had it written down, but I guess not. Oh, yeah, it's a minus, it's a minus one. Minus one? Yeah, you're still yeah. able to get out, because yeah. Duncan's passive strength was only 11. Okay. Um, and do you notice that there's so much smoke in the slayer now? Like, you can't even see the roof. I want to leave! <laughs> I'm going to run to the exit. <laughs> just leave me there. Yeah, you're a fucking asshole. You're I'm going just... to kinda. I'm gonna walk over like uh, near where the emerald is. And I'm going to say, Ryan, get up, let's go. How loud did you say it? Uh, okay. Kind of. Yeah. Like, I'm over by the the okay. crafting table. <laughs> the, where the emerald is. Someone just come over and shake me. Uh, not let him do his thing. I'm... I, I, sh- I kind of, like, shout it. Like, loud enough to, like, kind of... All right, fine, I wake up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you wake up and see that this chamber is filled with smoke. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I get up. <clears throat> Where is everybody? Um, I'm well, on the door. Okay. Zer- you don't see Zerathos here anymore. Yeah. I see, man, when I'm top. Good riddance. Okay. Start tired of the smoke. I walk over to Aranel. <laughs> 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 Oh, and I grabbed the emerald. Okay. I was gonna grab the Yeah, emerald. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was already there, so could I have grabbed it before? Yeah, but well, you didn't see you grabbed it, so I walked in. Yeah, but you just woke up. You're gonna have to walk all the way over there. I'm already there. That's even my next Yeah, but action. you said you didn't grab it, or you didn't see. Anyway, gauge <laughs> the emerald. <laughs> you were just standing there, yeah, I walked over You to didn't him. say you were gonna grab it. Because so. you kept talking! <laughs> I have the emerald. Uh. Ryan's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I could drown you. <laughs> yeah, so you grab the emerald and you notice that as you move forward, then water starts to fill that space. Okay, this is kind of scary, actually. But I'll just walk through. How are you going to get up if there's no water? That's a good question. I guess we'll climb. I'm just gonna... Because it's like... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah you'd be able to... I'm, up, <clears> I'm just gonna... Like I'm gonna go back on top. Okay. I'm gonna say, let's go. Swim through the water. water. Swim up as well. I'm gonna follow Aylrin L so he can't swim. <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, teamwork. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you're able to all climb up, and every once in a while you do okay, get okay. close enough to Aylrin L that it, you, can't, you kind of stop him from like swimming a little bit, but he gets. Past. Yeah. You have no reason to be a dick. <laughs> I'm just trying to steal the emerald. I was just trying to grab it. I, I wanted to hold on to the emerald. I'm just on short throwing up because of my hydrophobia and <laughs> just breathing a lot of smoke. Okay, and you do see Zarethos on top of the island. He's just playing a little ditty. Do you have any? Yeah! <laughs> <Advil? laughs> <laughs> uh, he could cure wounds, but he. I uh, would not be happy about it. Uh, you don't need to. I'm just going to try and pretend none of this ever happened to me. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just going to pretend none of this ever happened. I hate swimming. <sighs> I really don't like fucking smoke in my lungs. And, oh, God. I just want to be normal again. Okay, I kind of feel bad for you, so I'll walk up to you and touch you and cast Luster Restoration on you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Is that a spell slot? Yeah. <gasps> for me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I just start crying. <laughs> Blaze has been very emotional lately. Can fix your body, but we can't fix your mind. <laughs> you don't need to fix my mind. It's horribly broken. 
fuck him! <laughs> Uh, so, so, so well, the mind fighter didn't attack you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that one's already broken. <laughs> uh, so what would you guys like to do now? Yo, fuck it. Uh, first things first, I'm okay. going to make my way back to Lovecraft. <sighs> yes. <Okay. laughs> Told you I wouldn't forget him. So you do have the three canoes up on shore. You're able to get in one and start canoeing over. Yeah. And we've already gotten clean, so we might as well just go, what? Put a smirk on your face. I can't canoe if I'm holding the emerald. Learn how to deactivate it. You, you put it in your pocket. In front. Oh, yeah, that's right. Put it in your pocket. Can what you that deactivate mean? it? You tie it to a rope. Can I go, <laughs> can I, <laughs> drag it around by. Can I go up and do an arcana check to see if there's any way to turn it on or off? Sure. <laughs> I'm really good with arcana. Maybe if you shout chaos control. I have, uh, I have a plus seven in arcana, so. That's pretty good. Whoa. Uh, 25, 24. Mm. You believe that there's a word <laughs> and a drive says Maos Montrol. <laughs> yes! You're an asshole. <laughs> Sometimes you work hard. I, uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay. Damn okay. it! Oh, but, uh, oh, so it doesn't turn off? Uh, you do believe there is a way to turn it off? Can I discern which way? Um... You believe that you need to use magic to turn it off. You believe that by using the spell magic, it'll turn it off, and then it, you can use another spell to turn it back on. Or another cantrip. Possess the spell to spell magic? We may have to leave it behind. What about Z-Man? Z-Man, do you have to spell magic? Uh, let's see if he does, because I didn't choose a well, spell. I don't want to turn it off, because I don't think we'll be able to turn it back on again. But it would pro- probably would sell well. Like we, we like we do so, not have a cause for it. But if like, you were holding the chair and you jumped into the water, would you just? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they should patch. They should patch the gem. <laughs> they don't say general. General. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they need to nerf it. Yeah, nerf please. We'll give it to Arendelle, and then he can jump and use his cube of feather fall to float down. That's and I can get thinking. on the treasure. Yeah, and I'll and I'll split it. I don't like this idea. What? I said I'd split it. Oh, okay. I'm fair. Z-Man so does nice. not have to spell magic. Damn it, Z. What are you good for, Z-Man? <laughs> I mean, I'm just a musician. <laughs> Alright, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do we do with it? Carry it across the bottom of the sea. Well, we were gonna, we were gonna go... Or lake. Check out. See if we could find any treasure down there anyway, right? Yeah. So, why don't we do that? I feel like that really will be a pointless adventure. I thought that was a joke. <laughs> I mean, we could try. We can check out the dead Pleosaur body. Uh, oh, Plesiosaur. yes, can I grab my darts? <laughs> 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 that way I have to buy new ones. Uh, I'm not going under, but I'll ask you to, to grab them for me if you would, please. Can you please just grab my darts? I, I really just want to get back to shore. I'm really fucking done with water for a while. I'll so, grab onto you, and then you feather fall us down there. <laughs> Feather you're fall, you're under water. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, right. We were just talking uh, about this. Yeah. 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 But the only thing is, like, there's yeah. a lot of weight. Would I have dis- would I have disadvantage with that at all? Or it's just, just like, no, I don't. It's just feather fall. So. Well, okay, I'm like, yeah, just, but. Well, for the cape, it's <clears throat> feather fall just on him. It oh. would slow your descent a lot. Uh, okay. So, yeah, it um, still works since you're just hanging on to him. Okay, um, I look over into the water. Can I? Am I able to tell how far approximately would the bottom be? You think it's around 100, 150 feet deep. That's not oh, that's nothing. Or actually, wait, no, oh. it's deep water lake, so it'd be pretty deep. Okay. So it'd be like 700 feet deep. That means there's more treasure. Exactly. So as long as we hit the ground <laughs> and we just roll good, we'll be fine. Question. Why is it the best? Does the air in our air bubble run out and will we suffocate? It does not. Oh, sick. Yo. This is awesome. Um, what's the best way to do this? Because I can feather fall, but only like what? Isn't it how many feet? I think it's like a number of feet, feet per turn. You're casting slow fall, right? Yeah. I have that as a monk ability. So I can look it up right now. Feather fall is... is... Yeah. You can cast uh, a spell. No, a creature's fall. uh, falling creature's rate of descent slows to sixty feet per round until the spell ends, and it's a one minute spell. Oh. Yeah, for me it's a reaction, so we'll and I can do five times my monk level, six hundred feet. Right? So then there's only like what about a hundred feet that we'd have to fall, and 
Or you just fall for Isn't like... Isn't it 1d6 per 10 feet you fall? Yeah. That's a lot. Or you uh, just fall like a couple yo, hundred and then you activate... activate what if... Can we do that? That's yo, a good idea. Yeah. Just I, fall like halfway and then activate it? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, <laughs> we could do that. Or we could... Big brain moment. We could also... I guess... I guess swimming 700 feet down yeah, no, is kind of hard. Sorry. I was going to say they could drop the emmer down to us. Well, that's true. We swim down. Yeah, but I think I can hold on. Actually, I have yeah. set con, so I could probably Six hold minutes. my breath. Oh, no. I can't hold my breath that long. A minute. What, so what is how, it? Con. It's your con bonus. It's how many minutes. Yeah. Oh, I could do it for like four minutes. I have. Okay. Zero, so, <laughs> well... Like one minute default. I'll go yeah, same thing at the bottom. And I feather fall. Well, and then we, 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 we <laughs> yeah, just fall half the down. Let's just, let's just do it. All right. <laughs> Is anyone going to join us on our expedition for treasure? I wish Fadon was here. I think you two got this. Uh, fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> but if you could at least grab my darts, I'd be very appreciative. Let's bring Z-Man. Yeah, there's going to come down. Oh, yeah. Uh, so how is he going to join us? Something's got to like be the animals. Uh, would he still be able to rain on to you? Uh, probably. Like, I don't see why not. I yeah. can probably hold them both. I have, like, 17 strength. Yeah. So, yeah. like, and if they hold on, I can kind of hold on to them and we can all... Yeah, that'd work then. All right. Let's go, Z-Man. Um, so, th- I'll, I guess you'll hold on to the Emerald, I'll hold on to you guys, kind of, you'll hold on to me. And then we're gonna jump off into the water, quote, unquote, like, air bubble. Yeah. We'll go down halfway, and then I guess I'll use Feather Fall okay. into... This is gonna slow us down the remaining <laughs> the remainder. So this is a super weird experience to you guys since you're jumping into water and you just fall as though like it's air. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very uncomfortable. So you free fall for you're going like halfway? Uh yeah, probably yeah. safe than sorry. At least at least halfway. Yeah, so you free fall together for the I said just 750? Yeah, right? about, so you said 700, 750 or something. Yeah, so you free fall half that distance, and it's like, it's scary as hell, because you've never free fallen that far yourselves, as far as I know. Uh, yeah, probably. And then you use your cape to cast Feather Fall, and yes. that descent just slows and slows and slows until you reach the ground about a minute later. Hot dog, and we are fine. Yep. Nice. nice. <laughs> um, awesome. This is, has been an epic gamer moment. And I um, want to go back to Farron. Oh, okay. <sighs> so Farron, you are still in the sanctum with all these statues around you. Okay. And it's like a circle of statues. <sighs> Interacting with them really hasn't seemed to have worked, so... Um... <clears throat> I will then talk to them. <laughs> uh, you try to talk, but you get no response. Is there any other... There's no other way out except the way I came in, right? Yeah. Nothing else is happening here. Roll one more perception check. Or investigation, either one. That's not bad. That's 18. You see something in the hand of the central goddess. Why I go over and inspect that? You see that it's a small... Uh, light blue, almost turquoise stone that can fit in your hand. Can I approximately have an idea as to how much this would weigh? Without lifting it? Without lifting it. You think it would be like just a... I'm not good with weight. Uh, Maybe like 400 grams? I don't know that. (laughs) And it almost seems to shine a little bit. I'm gonna take off my ring, my gold <laughs> ring, and I'm gonna do an Indiana Jones. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do a switchy switch. I'm gonna do the switchy, the switcheroo. Um, Ready to have the wand of switcheroos. <laughs> mentally count to three, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap them around. Okay, you grab the stone, put the ring on, and nothing else happens. Big brain. You're not sure if it's because nothing would have happened or because you put the ring on first. Try and take your ring off. I don't want (laughs) to. I'm just going to take that for what it is. All right, I'm going to hold the stone and inspect it further now. Okay. Do an arcana check. Don't mess up. 
Why would you say that? <laughs> Sorry. That's yes. fine. That's 18. Yay. Yay. Uh, you do notice some arcana enhancements about the stone. What kind of vibe do I get from this stone? Uh, you don't get, like, a, like, a, like, power-hungry feel about the stone. Yeah. You feel that it's, um, got some other kind of magic, like, not evil kind of magic, just useful of some kind. Okay, looks like I'm an explorer now. How uh, well, I guess... I am now an aged explorer. Uh, I guess we will shall check out the other cavern. Um, I'm just going to pat the statue on the shoulder really light, <laughs> and I'm going to go to the other one. Okay. The one I don't want to go into. The other the other passageway. And I'm going to put that stone in my, uh, in my pouch. Okay, so in this uh, area, you see a shrine. It seems like a shrine. Okay. And... You notice it seems to be ded- dedicated to the woman statue you saw before. And there are mur- murals all throughout the cave walls that tr- show her beauty and her power. And just her in different battles with different enemies, so, so some demons, some devils, uh, Baylor you see, and... Uh, you see her with different weapons almost every time. Uh, roll, and you see a sculpture that in the center of the room that's holding up like a pristine golden bowl. And you see a few miscellaneous old coins just in the bowl. Put an apple. Say so press the what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to. I don't have my ring anymore. Okay, I'm going to take out a coin. Okay, you take one out, and as you look, it seems to be extremely old. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this one you, t- you take out seems to be more than 200 years old. I'm going to take out all the coins. Okay. Uh, as you look through more of them, <clears throat> uh, some of them are gold pieces, some silver, some bronze, some other ones you don't know what they are. And the older stone you find seems to be around... We're doing a history check. Hey, that's, um... 15. 15. At least 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> the stone you... The, the oldest one you believe is around a thousand, if not more, years old. Oh. Wow. That's an old coin. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to stash those coins away. Okay. In my pouch. In my mouth. <laughs> Prison wallet. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only pouch I have. <laughs> Yo. Okay. So. The bag of holding. <laughs> no more coins. Yeah, that's enough of that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Podcast is I will <laughs> pour some water in there. I uh, pour water in, and nothing happens. Nice. Okay, um, what's around me other than that? Uh, it's mostly just the, fi- uh... The fight scenes? Yeah, fight scenes on the walls and just showing, like, the woman's beauty and power. And just the centerpiece that's, like, a sculpture with a pristine golden ball. Okay, I'm gonna take out the stone that I grabbed in the other room. And I'm just... I'm gonna place it in the bowl. Nothing happens. Cool, I'm gonna take it back. Um, you could like investigate the paintings or like the sculpture or anything else that you want to do. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna begin investigating the room. I'll start with the the walls. Okay. Surrounding walls. Uh, so roll a perception check or investigation either one. That's yeah. Good. That's good. Yeah. Uh, so this. It's twenty two. Investigation. Uh, so you notice that all of these paintings, uh, all of them with different weapons in their hands, you notice <laughs> that they're the same weapons you saw that the other statues had. Okay. As well as the ones that are on the her statue's back. So these must have been like her, her warriors. 
And you do notice a symbol on most of those weapons. And it's a uh, hammer and an anvil. And roll a religion check for me, please. Yo, is this communist Russia? <laughs> it's hammer and sickle. <laughs> I know, it was a joke. That's 12. 12. You know, this is the symbol of Hephaestus. Hephaestus? Kill it! Do I know who Hephaestus is? I really yes. definitely should. Uh, yeah, you've been talking to him a lot, so you really yeah. should. You know he's the god of, like, forging and of... Uh, sometimes he can be considered a god of, like, fire and weapons. Okay. Flames crafting and blacksmith. But, yeah, crafting, blacksmithing, forging is what he's most known for. Hephaestus? How do you say it again? Hephaestus. Hephaestus, okay, just make sure. H-A-E-S-T-U-S. Something like that. As long as I know how to pronounce it, that's all that matters. And his symbol is on all his weapons? Yeah. Shit. Very intriguing. Weapons and items. Okay, and there's... Are there any actual items there, or is it just... Uh, the paintings. It's just paintings with okay. the items. Um, are there any statues in here other than the main one? Just the main one in the center. Okay, I'm gonna further investigate that statue then. Okay. So that I've learned more about these paintings. As you look more at it, it almost seems like it's just a stack of something, and it kind of seems like a stack of a large stack of nine coins holding up the bowl. Large stack of coins holding up the bowl. I'm gonna take out the coins. Uh, <laughs> because it's a statue, you can't. Oh, it's a statue. statue. Yeah. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put a coin in the bowl. Nothing happens. Every everybody counts. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna fill the bowl with coins. Okay. You fill it, and you you don't notice anything happening. Okay, I'm not going to take all my coins back then. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Blood sacrifice. <laughs> Give me a life food for the wife. <laughs> Blood sacrifice. A cute <clears throat> anime girl. <laughs> One weeb campaign. God, I don't. <laughs> and on some walls and also on some, like, the coins holding up, you do notice some um, ruins on it. Ruins? Yeah. What do these ruins look like? Uh, what languages do you know? I know Infernal, Under Common, and then Common. And French. And Bonjour, yeah. Bonjour. Uh, so you don't recognize the script at all. It seems kind of similar to Infernal, but not I'm quite. casting Comprehend Languages. Okay. Oh, hot shit. <laughs> Yo. Uh, so you cast All that, and <laughs> I just like point at my big brain. Uh, you're not, you're still not able to actually re- read these ruins, but it seems to be some really old celestial font. Really old celestial font, okay. Uh, I'll try to pronounce the really old celestial font. Uh, you Let's see, uh. uh so, okay, this is just another room with the statue in the center and then the paintings on the walls. There's no other way out. You're you're not really able to pronounce these because there are different letters that are different from celestial and all of the letters that do seem celestial <coughs> do seem a bit different okay. in the drawings and stuff like that. Oh, and then... <laughs> <laughs> uh... I want to investigate that statue more, more in depth. Okay. Uh, what are you trying to like <sighs> investigate about? What the statue is, what its purpose could be, what what the purpose for its existence in this room is. <laughs> Why won't my fucking coin work? <laughs> <laughs> you believe that it is for it was it was used as a shrine. For this goddess type oh, woman. Lord. I'm gonna get on my knees and, and start praying. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you have to sacrifice something important to you. Like, I have no idea. Your hand. No! Your <laughs> mask. No! Ooh. Even worse. Your virginity. <laughs> no! <laughs> that I can't do. This campaign is intense. Yeah, I'm gonna get on my knees and I'm just gonna kind of 
start speaking and say, Hello? Uh, as you start speaking, you do feel more at ease here. But you don't know something else has happened. So, uh, any possible divine being existing in this very room? You don't hear any answer, but you find that you... You almost feel as if here you won't have any uh, evil thoughts or have any like takeovers of your mind here. Oh, it looks like I live here now. Is this where <laughs> your journey down the road of clericode begins? Because that would be really cool. The road of clericode? Yeah, if you want to multi class, you play. <laughs> play <in the> way. <laughs> um, could I? Could you possibly, you are listening, could I have a guide? I am very lost, I'm confused. Uh, My purpose is unclear. A religion check. Clayton, what would you say? What would you say? Oh, that's 14. Okay. So, then that's 18. 18. So, you feel as though... You almost hear a deep voice in your head telling you... It almost seems to be telling you where to go, but not exactly. Like It's almost like a sense that you know where to go. Okay. That seems to be towards the path out of this mountain. Or you feel two of them. Uh, Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> um, I guess two of them. No, no. <laughs> uh, one... That seems to be going uh, northwest, further into the mountains. Okay. And one that seems to be going to the east, back to the to the main road, like in the uh, canyon between the mountains. The path that you saw earlier. Does one of them feel dark? I guess I can't feel dark here. Yeah, you don't feel any darkness here. Okay, I'm going to go... The one that leads me down the path. Okay. So you're leaving this cave? I'll, I'll leave this cave. Okay. As you leave, you still have the sense. Okay. Yeah. And I'll go back to everyone else. <clears throat> See, uh... Well, we really split the party a lot right now. Uh, so <laughs> I'll go to you, the three of you. So Ryan, uh, Aelrandal, yes. and Zerthos, who are on the bottom of the, of the lake... <laughs> So you reach the bottom of the lake and you see a few things initially. So you see a lot of like skeletons of dead beings. You see the mind player's body at the bottom here as well, <laughs> nearby. Nice. And uh, there are a few fish flopping around because you took away their water. I'm gonna, them. I'm gonna go pick them all up and chuck them. <laughs> okay. <in the> <laughs> Do you have the sewn in your hand? I do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just throw them real <laughs> Um. So what? What kind of radius is this thing? Like it's a like a giant like. Yeah. So I, I think or? it's it's a big sphere. It'd okay. be. It's a fifty foot radius sphere. Awesome. From the stone. Cool. 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 Um. What do we do now? We jog. Like, just a light jaunt under the sea. No, uh, we gotta go find the Plesiosaurus, right? Under the sea. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess we'll head better. in the general yeah. direction of the Plesiosaurus. Okay. Down where it's bad. Yeah, uh, under the sea. Oh, I guess it's super dark down here, isn't it? You guys have dark vision. Yeah, does it see man? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna cast light. It's a cantrip, so why not? Okay, sea monster. <laughs> nice, dude. When you cast that, do you notice that there are some fish that go straight towards you after you <laughs> light it, and then some that just scurry away as far as possible. Um, and then those fish that are coming towards you reach the, the air and just yeah. flop around um, on the ground. Are there, like, cr- some of them are like really big ones too. They start like pelting through the And kind of monstrous game. looking. If there's some bigger fish, um, do I know if some of them are good to eat? Probably most of them. Yeah, most of them would be good to eat. Just yeah. start collecting fish. Oh, also. Um, I'm gonna... It's uh, it's hot pink. Okay, the light is hot. <laughs> pink. Nice. Just you just because... decided that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It can be anything I want. You shouldn't be. It can be fucking disco rainbow yeah. if I wanted. Throwback to oh boy, four. Um, 
<laughs> As we go by and turn the fish are in our radius, I'm going to go and just kind of give them a good stab okay. and kill them. You just break their heads with like slap them on the ground. They're big. <laughs> How big are these fish? Uh, uh, there's a couple of eels that are in this. Ooh, and I've always wanted to try cooked eel. Speaking of so, which, we gotta go there. <laughs> oh, what? God. Eel. Eel. Oh, eel, yeah. And Good there, joke, Tony! There's a couple of eels that are about like 10 feet in length or some feet in length. And then some other tiny fish as well. You see one really like monstrous looking fish that's like pretty. Like, it's almost kind of oval-shaped, and oh, it has, like, sharp teeth, and its eyes are really big and kind of blobbish. And... Do I... Do you think he'll be tasty? Uh, you've never had this type before. You've never seen it before. Fish eyes taste like ice cream. Bring it back with you. Supposedly. <laughs> That's fucked up. I don't know. Oh, bring it back with you. You're not here. Um, oh, it's. Uh, I'm gonna. Metagame how, fish. Like, can I? How big is it? Like, can I just like carry it in my hand or whatever? Yeah, you'd probably be able to carry it. Mm, yeah. How many? How many people do you think it'll feed? It could probably feed three, four people. It's pretty good. All right. All right. I'm gonna kill it. Sweet. I'm just gonna take my dagger and just go. Okay. And just stab it through its like tiny brain. Okay. You do that and it just flops and flops and flops and then finally dies. Good move. Do I say it? Yes. There's always a bigger fish. <laughs> <laughs> Hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Find the Pleosaurus. I'm going to pick it up and then we're going to go towards the Pleosaurus. Okay, yeah, you're able to find your way to the Pleosaurus. It wasn't too far away, and you see it just lying dead on the ground. Um, with a bunch of darts in it and some arrows in it. I retrieve all the weapons. Okay. Can I take all the arrows? You can have anything you want. I'm not here for me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, I guess I guess uh I'll grab all the arrows and I'll and I'll say to Z Man like, collect all blazes darts. Cause I don't want to. Yeah, he but... he will. Yeah. <laughs> what a chump. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, how many arrows should I find? He'd say that's all uh, no, I I'd say probably like seven. Dude, that's dope. <laughs> Is there anything else we can possibly take from this dinosaur? Uh, these dinosaurs does have some really sharp teeth, so you could probably take that it's if you wanted. How big are the teeth? Uh, there's some. Its longest teeth would probably be about seven inches long. I dig it. All right, I take a bunch of teeth. How many teeth can I gather? Uh, you can take as many as you want. Uh, and I take seventeen hundred. <laughs> okay, it yeah, has I'm like sorry. I know forty teeth. Okay, I'll just grab ten. Okay, I'll ten of the biggest teeth I can find. Okay, I'll grab some as well. You can do that after I'm done. You might be able to okay, sell those. Well, <laughs> no, I know. I'm just. <laughs> bro. 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 You might be able to stab a diary with these. Harry Potter I got reference. It. I got it. <laughs> Sick dude. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just yeah, I'll take some as well. Okay. Um, and then I don't know where we want to walk around. I guess we will just. Can we see any shipwrecks? Like, can we wrecks? I guess because uh, like yeah, there's no big ships, yeah. but you do see a lot of broken canoes, rowboats. You do you do see one decent sized ship? Well, small ship, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like just like a sailboat type thing. We could go check that out. Sure, let's go check it out. All right, we're gonna walk towards the medium-sized sailboat thing. Okay. I'm just gonna go to these guys. Uh, Lazarus, Blaze, okay. is there anything you guys want to do while you're on the island? I just want to find uh, uh, My Lovecraft. Okay, yeah, you're able. Are you going with them? Yeah, we'll take a canoe and I'm okay. heading back to the shore. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna grab him and then head back to mainland. Okay, yeah, you're able to find the right island, and Lovecraft is conscious now, and he wags his tail a bit when he sees you coming. Lovecraft! <laughs> and and like, into the boat. he jumps on board and starts, like, licking your face, and then it's like. Yeah, sorry, I don't taste as good as I used to. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you get fucking screwed over by your DM. <laughs> <laughs> no <Nobody gave me. laughs> And we, then you guys are just going to shore, then? Uh, yeah, yeah, there's nothing else to explore, yeah. so... Okay. Uh, you're able to make it on shore. 
Thank Is you. there anything you want to do while I'm sure, or just wait for these guys? Just gonna wait. Yeah, okay. I'll just wait. Yeah. We'll hold down the old fort. I'm actually gonna try making a fishing rod. Okay. Yeah, uh, just roll a survival check. Fishing pole. Fishing pole. 25. Yeah, you, you accidentally craft one. Yo. You accidentally craft one? No, <laughs> accidentally. Oh, okay. Damn it, I made another fishing pole. <laughs> and I'll go back to you guys on the bottom of the lake. Woohoo! Woohoo! Alright, let's. How far away is the ship? Uh, it would be around 100 feet away. Just walk there. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we're just walking. Yeah, so you find this ship and you see that there are tons of uh, holes in the ship and places where it seems like maybe the plesiosaurs uh, bit holes through it or the water elemental like tore down some of it. Smack it. Seems probably around uh, two years old. Okay. Nice. Okay. Let's look for treasure. Hell yeah. Alright, yeah, I'll we'll search for some like, treasure chests or weapons mm-hmm. or anything. Like okay. Mind. Yeah, so there's this a small cabin on the strip, and you're able to go inside it, and inside you do see uh, two skeletons, one that's wearing a cabin's hat. What's the hat look like? Uh, it's like a wide brimmed one, and it's like the. Uh, it's like the three triangles almost, so like. Uh, here, I'll, I'll just draw it. Okay, okay. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, oh, no, I can't draw it, never mind. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Are you going to take that hat? I'm very tempted to. You can give it to Z Man. Ryan has always wanted to be a pirate. Uh, <laughs> I collect hats. Oh, sorry, <laughs> metagaming again. Bye. Um. Are there any other hats in the room? Uh, <laughs> can we go to the bottom of the lake and look for hats? <laughs> Come up with nothing else but <laughs> cool hats. I found this cool hat. We were the dungeon party that avoided all plot points, but now we're looking for too many. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you do see that there's a desk that's a bit broken in, in at the end of the room, as well as a few bunk beds on each side of the room, and you do see one chest. Um, I'm fixated on the hat. This is a pity chest. chest. Alright, I'm going to walk over to the chest and I'll check out the chest then while he's checking out the hat. Uh, it is locked. Hmm. I just... It's an under... Is it a wood chest? Yeah. Please. (laughs) I just ask you to please. Um... It's been underwater for like two or three years, so we'll just kick it. And it'll probably break. It's actually a good point. Kick it hard. I have a... I have a feeling there's something spooky to this chest. Right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, Do mimics need air? No. Would there be a mimic at the bottom of the lake? He's very hungry, probably. Who <laughs> knows? He's probably pissed because he's at the bottom of the fucking lake. Can I take my. Okay, I'm gonna take. Can I take like a arrow and then try to like fiddle around with it in the lock? Would it fit? Uh, it would not fit. Okay, no. never mind. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give it a boop, a little small boop. Yeah, so just roll a strength check. Okay. That's a dirty twenty. Yeah, you kick and it breaks straight through the chest. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now there's a foot in um, your boot. <laughs> or a chest in your boot. There's a chest in my boot. <laughs> um, nice. Um, I kind of like when I kick it. I kind of kick it like at the the lock. Okay. So would it maybe just like pop open? Uh, or is like my foot just go through the it lock? Doesn't exactly, it doesn't exactly crumple. The lock doesn't crumple, but you kick it hard enough that what the lock was connected to broke. Awesome. I'm going to give her an open. Okay. Uh, as you open up, you, you see there's a lot of bronze pieces. You would assume it's around 100 bronze pieces in here, and you see a. A uh, dagger with like a uh, a ruby on the pommel, hmm. and you see a locket in there. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab everything. Okay. I'm gonna go back to uh, Rhyme Man and Z Man. I don't know. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna say, hey, what I found in the chest. More gems. <laughs> I cast detect magic. 
Uh, you don't detect any magic. Um, can I investigate the dagger at all and see if I find out if it's got any, like... I'm wearing the hat, by the way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around and he's... I'm very on. pleased. I'm very pleased with myself. Nice hat. Thanks, man. Uh, as you investigate the dagger, you notice a emblem. Like a... Uh, through um, emblazoned on it. Okay. Mm, do I recognize it all? Uh, roll a history check. Sure, dog. Uh, what is my oh, yeah. yeah, I got an eight. <laughs> an eight? Uh, you don't recognize this emblem. Alright. It's an emblem of a uh, knife be, being like forged on a forge. I, oh, I I I, sh- I show it to Ryan. I'm like, do you recognize this album at all? Do I recognize this album? Yes, you recognize it as the work of a blacksmith from uh, Shun. Shun. Or yeah. actually, no, you probably wouldn't have been to Shun before. Where is it? Uh, in the south here. Uh, no, probably not. You're from Stan, right? Yes. You recognize it from Igor, <laughs> which is right here. Okay. Y'all changing it up. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And you know that the blacksmith there is a good blacksmith. Yeah. Like he's good or he's just like a nice guy? Both. He's a good guy. He's a good blacksmith. (laughs) You gotta do your voice, man. I recognize it. Nice. Do you think there's anything special with it or is it just nicely crafted? I don't detect any magic coming from it. Cool. I guess we might as well hold on to it for now. I also found a hundred copper pieces in this locket. Do I know anything? Know anything about the locket? Uh, as you open up it up, you do you see that inside is a picture or an image, and it's of a fuck. Uh, I really need to actually think of stuff beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's the Eagles. Go Eagles, go! <laughs> it's a it's a dog. Is it a child? It's my mother. Yes. It's no. <laughs> yes. It's of a child. Oh my god. Of about four years of age. Creepy. Of course. Um, Alright. Okay, you have a weird point. What is this? Yeah. Huh. Hopefully it's not too late for this child. <laughs> you assume that it would be the, like, the son of one of the captains of this ship. Mm. Right. Can I have the locket, please? Sure. I'll pass it to my good friend Ryan, um, and then I'll say, "We'll split these uh, bronze pieces with everyone above." You see anything else around here? Do we see anything else around here? Roll a perception check. I also look for Oof, uh, that's, more uh, hats. Uh, that's a nine. <laughs> that's a five. <laughs> nice. Um, Zerthos sees stuff. Oh, let's go, Z man. Uh, he sees a lot of. He sees the sea. Uh, skeletons on the bottom of this lake that are killed by the monsters and well, again all of them have their heads caved in and uh, yes. he notices a few weapons and he tells you that none of them seem to be magical a few of them are rusting uh, he sees where the islands are like the next two islands and he doesn't see anything under the islands or inside or anything like that uh, he does see a couple more, uh, couple more shipwrecks further on. Okay. Nice, see, man. Um, do you want to go check out at least one or two more of those shipwrecks? See if we can find anything good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> can I have a dagger? Uh, I don't know. I want to find out. I want to... Is it, like, does it do anything... Special is it just like a decently crafted? It's just a really well crafted. Um, Yeah, I suppose you can. You can have this dagger. I got my other one, so So, uh, I should be fine. I'll pass it to Ryan. Much appreciated. Um, Do I see any other hats in this trooper before we leave? You do not. Damn. All right. Uh, I guess we'll make our way to the next shipwreck. Also, I was thinking about this. How are we gonna get back up? Well, presumably we can just walk right out of the lake mm-hmm. if we walk all the way to the edge. Oh, yeah. that's pretty. That's gonna be pretty fun. But yeah. if only you're gonna turn that gem off, then you can just. Oh. I can only breathe for a minute. 
But I can't float. Maybe. No, I can't. I'm, I'm, very, I'm heavy. very heavy. All muscle. <laughs> and steel. And mithril. And emotion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright. Um, um, yeah, it's very good. In return for the dagger, I'll give you the hat. If you want the hat. Um... No, I see that you are pleased with the hat. I'm very pleased. <laughs> Standing there smiling, <laughs> smiling away. No, I'll just I'll keep an eye out for something else. It's all good. Um, yeah, it's all good. I won't. Yeah. So as you make your way towards this next wreck, uh, you see more fish just flopping in the water around you, um, or in the air around you, and then you make it to this shipwreck. You notice this is a smaller one than the last one, but it's there's still like a cruise cabin and stuff like that. Uh, this one seems to be split in half. Whoa. Hmm. Um. Interesting. Um. Uh, I guess we'll investigate the ship. Mm-hmm. Um. Do we know why it's split in yeah, half? The us. Titanic. Hey, did you guys know that the Titanic swimming pool is still full of water? <laughs> Anyway. You, you would assume that either the pool <laughs> the the is full of water. <laughs> you would assume that the pool is full of water. It only makes sense. <laughs> you would assume that the either Plesiosaurus just like launched itself over top of the boat, or that the water elemental just slammed down on it You're, perfectly. Both those are power moves. <laughs> 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 this boy's getting it. Uh, okay. And you do recognize the tattered flag on this ship? It's a uh, uh, the city of Eol. Have we been there? Mm, no. No. That's Tony's hometown, though. Yeah. Well, actually, it's... Do you even have a hometown Aaron anymore? Uh, <laughs> I do. Aaron <laughs> does, but okay. he's been a, kind of changed ever since he's been a resident. But yeah, okay. that still kind of strikes him in a little bit in the heart. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> investigate the ship. I'm gonna look up for any... Specifically, I want to look um, for any dead people, like skeletons and okay. stuff, and like notable things from eel as well as hats. <laughs> yeah, so you do see a uh, few skeletons on either side, on each side of the boat, either on the deck or beside the ship. Uh, they're all devoid of any flesh. They've probably been eaten by, eaten by piranhas or something like that, and. Again, heads caved in. Um, draw a history check. Hmm. History is the one thing I'm good at. That's a three. <laughs> <laughs> Just bring it to me, baby. And I'll answer all your questions. <laughs> we should back up and ask them. That's a three all together. Yes, sir. Uh, let, let me re-roll again. And we just cut that out. No one has to know. Sometimes the rules aren't in your favor. No, I know. That's yeah. Right. And sometimes you don't get to know everything. Yeah. Uh, I do you don't notice anything, anything significant. Do you do believe that all of the crew were from Eol and um, maybe were sent here to try to kill the monsters? Damn. But you don't remember anyone being sent there. Okay. Um. I guess... Yeah, do we see any treasure of any sort down there? Anything notable worth thinking? Uh, you see that the window of the crew cabin was bro- broken, and you see a chest on one side, like lying on its side on one side of the deck. I, I'm just gonna take my hammer and destroy the chest. Yeah, you're able to do that. Sweet. Awesome. <laughs> and inside, inside do you find... Uh, you see a uh, skull in it that seems to be made of some kind of mineral. Whoa. Uh, just roll a insight check. Just cause... It's probably soil. Oh my god. What's my insight? Ten. Ten? Uh, I rolled a ten. Uh, you have advantage since Ooh. you work with... Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Dwarven res- t- stone cutting. Stone cutting, so, stone cutting. Stone. yeah. I'm also okay. with him by the 26. Way. 26. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> nice. Uh, you're able to determine that this is made of uh, sapphire, so it's like a deep blue color. Yo. Yo. It doesn't Yo. seem to be like pure sapphire. Yo. Yo. But it does seem to be intricately carved 
and you assume that the people who are from this ship probably found it either on an island here or on a different voyage somewhere. Mm. This is probably one of their prized possessions. Damn. Not anymore, so... We're gonna, They're dead. We're gonna take that... We should take this skull. Yeah. It's probably worth quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, so, um, anything else in the chest? You find a hat. <laughs> what kind of hat? <laughs> is it... Never mind. No, what are you asking? I was going to say, is it one of those beanie hats with a little propeller on top? <laughs> <laughs> no, Blaze already found one of those oh, in the King's course. Oh, in, that's right. Uh, still spear, I think. still wearing it. I do. No, I... Okay. <laughs> Should I keep it in the bag of holding with all the other hats? I've Imagine if it gave you, like, plus five intelligence. So you'd be, like, talking to someone, you're like, I think this. And plus it's just, like, great as little... But minus five intimidation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's of one of those like white sailor like navy hats. Oh yeah, yeah, mm. I dig it. Nice. And if you as you put it on, you seem to know exactly which direction is which direction from where you are. So you know north, west, east, south. That's Yo. actually a sick item. So <laughs> I can wear this hat. Yeah. Yo. Awesome. Um, I'll be there. I'm then you can be my first mate. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> what about Z-Man? What about Z-Man? <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> uh, so there's nothing else in that chest? Uh, no, that, those are the only two things you found. You actually noticed that the hat was on the skull. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo. <all> right. <laughs> Some guy just like set this sled on the chest. Like, this is amazing. Like, Wait a second. Wait a second. Ran down to the quarters and grabbed the hat to set it on. He's like, hell yeah, I'm gonna lock this. Up. <laughs> Can't like bring this back. These guys are probably fun to be around. Yeah, they're, they're from my hometown, so. Oh yeah. And that's where we leave off for this episode of a deal with demons. <laughs>